Potential energy. Potential energy is the energy storing an object due to the object's position in regards to other objects, its arrangement, or its state. There are many different types of potential energy. In this video, we will cover gravitational, elastic, and magnetic. First, let's look at gravitational potential energy. This is the potential energy stored in an object due to its height. The amount of potential energy can change by changing the object's mass or its height. When we compare the bottles on shelf C, which are at the same height, the blue bottle would have more potential energy than the green bottle because it has more mass. When we compare the blue bottle on the shelf C to the blue bottle on shelf A, which have the same mass, the blue bottle on shelf C would have more potential energy because it's higher. Who has more potential energy? The green bottle on shelf B or the blue bottle on shelf A? To figure this out, we need to use the formula potential gravitational energy equals mass times gravity times height, where gravity on Earth is a constant 9.8 meters per second squared. If the green bottle has a mass of one kilogram and a height of two meters, we'll plug that into the formula so that one kilogram times 9.8 meters per second squared times two meters, and that's gonna give us a total energy of 19.6 joules. Joules is the unit for energy. Now let's see that blue bottle with a mass of two kilograms and a height of one meter. Again, we plug it into the formula, Two kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared times one meter gives us 19.6 joules. As you can see, the green bottle and the blue bottle actually have the same potential gravitational energy, even though they have different masses and different heights. Our second one is elastic potential energy. This is a potential energy stored based on changing or distortion of an elastic object. The amount of elastic potential energy can change by stretching or compressing an elastic object. So we see here, the spring at its resting position has a potential energy of zero joules. Stretching that spring increases potential energy and so does compressing that spring. To find the potential energy of the spring, we use the formula Potential energy equals one-half k x squared, where k is the spring constant. And each spring has its own spring constant, which is determined by how stiff it is. x is the distance that is stretched or compressed from its resting position. So what is the potential energy of the stretched spring if the spring constant is 2.85 newtons per meter? We're gonna take this and we're gonna plug it into the formula so that P equals one half, 2.85 times that X, which is two, so two squared. And when we get that, it's one half times 11.4, and that gives us a potential energy of 5.7 joules. Let's look at this picture. When does the pogo stick have zero potential energy? If you said B, you are correct. B is where it's at its resting position. A is compressed and C is stretched. Magnetic potential energy is the potential energy stored based on the position in the magnetic field. The amount of potential energy can change based on its distance between the magnets of opposite or similar charges. As magnets with similar charges get closer together, the actual amount of potential energy increases that's because they don't want to touch. So the closer the magnets with like charges are, the greater the potential energy. As magnets with different charges get close together, the amount of potential energy actually decreases. That's because they actually do want to touch. So the closer the magnets with opposite charges are, the smaller the potential energy. Let's review. Where 
On the roller coaster, does the card have the greatest potential energy? Card B is at the top highest point here, so it has the greatest potential energy. Where on the swing is the boy's potential energy the least? Letter B represents the lowest height, so letter B is where the least potential energy is. Which magnets show the highest amount of potential energy? These magnets have opposite charges, so letter A would be where the potential energy is greatest. And when does the spring show the lowest amount of potential energy? The spring at its resting position has zero potential energy. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.